Okay, guys, we're live. And let me know in the comments, guys, if you can hear me, uh, because I, I, I have no idea. I don't go, I don't go live uh, very often here, as you know. And so I'm just going to check uh, on the app over here. Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me in the comments? Let me know. Say holla, 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 holla. <laughs> anyone? 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 Okay, let's see. Yeah, it's like all good. Yes. Okay. Great. 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 Okay, guys. All right, let's do it. Let's rock and roll then. Perfect. Okay. So what I'm going to do, uh, I just wanted to go live because I wasn't even going to do a show today because, uh, well, because my, my, my main homie got, got sick and had to have a surgery tonight. So it was uh, a bit, a bit worrying and, um, you know, Bitcoin Rupert. So, uh, I'll keep you guys posted on that, but it was pretty, <clears throat> pretty heart, heartbreaking. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, but then He's walking around like a little champ right now. So, uh, so I figured I'd jump on here. I was gonna make a pre-recorded video, but I think figured it's Friday night. It's three o'clock in the morning. What the fuck? Let's get let's get it down. Let's get down. So, uh, what I'm gonna do, guys, is how I'm gonna how I'm gonna do this is I'm going to probably like 15, 20 minutes. I'm just gonna go. Uh, I'm just gonna go through the news like at high level, so you guys understand what's going on. We're gonna talk about the markets right now. State of the markets, like they looking uh, super bloody, and so um, we have to understand like what is the play here. You know, can we go much lower? Um, I'm in a lot of private groups where they're talking about, you know, uh, waiting to buy the dips. So we're going to talk about like what I'm doing personally, how I feel about the situation, and uh, and and what I what I feel is going on here uh, in in the markets, right? Okay, so let's go. Uh, let, me, let me present here. Share screen. <laughs> And guys, welcome everybody. Welcome everybody who is uh, who's here. Let me let me let me welcome everybody. So we got Evelyn, Jay Davis, Peace of Love, Jonathan. What are you guys calling it, or where are you guys uh, tuning in from? What part of the world? Um, what are you doing? It's Friday, Friday night. If you're in Asia, it's really late. You get back from a party or something, or uh, or where are you, where are you guys get off work and in the states. What's up? What's up? Let me know where you're calling in from. Um, yeah, and just, yeah, nice to see all you guys here. So we got uh, it's okay, dude. Boone, Ritesh Haksamal, uh, Amsterdam, Canada, Seattle. What's up? What's up? Laguna, California. It's kicking kick it all the time. I'm from California too. Argentina, Argentina in the house. All right, all right, all right. South Africa, right on. Uh, we got a lot of South Africans uh, in, in my crypto family for sure. Um, yeah, yeah, Germany, cool, cool, cool. Blood, blood, bloodbath for sure. Wales, South Africa, Barcelona, baby. Or oh, welcome, hola. Bien viendo. Uh, agale. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ireland. Uh, <laughs> careful, man. Uh, don't get any fights. Uh, no, you guys know, uh, if you guys know me, Tony, uh, our, our CTO in Commonwealth is uh, Irish. And I, I know the, I know the, the temperament there. <laughs> um, India in the house. What's up, guys? Uh, all right. So things are looking pretty bloody. Uh, what I want to do first is let's just zoom up for the month. Okay, like it still doesn't look great on the month, right? Uh, but that's that's we 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 know historically that where we are right now is like we are in this. It it, it always I don't I don't have the chart pulled up right now, but you guys know that I, I've shared this Rex Capital chart a lot of times, and it's like right around the having, right before, and then even it doesn't it doesn't just explode after the the having. It uh it it takes a little while. It lags a little bit, and then. Full send. It's happened every single time historically, without fail. Um, so what is what does this do? If I click this one, is it? Wow. I'm very very small there. Let's see. Can I? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyway, I guess. Uh, let's see. Whatever. Whatever. Okay. So you don't need to see me anyway. All right. So England, the fucking moon. We got someone from the moon. Holla. Let me know when you see uh, when you see Bitcoin and all of our alts up there. Uh, guys, what happened, what happened with paid network? Uh, well, I'll get into that in just a bit, but the same thing with, uh, like all oids, all oids. I see people like in that, the question, asking questions like what happened to this particular, if you haven't noticed, this is what happened to the market. Right. And so what, what I'll do just to kind of make a, uh, and, and I'm not, I'm not saying that like, I'm not going to explain to you guys exactly what's going on with the projects that I'm directly working with or responsible for, but. I'm going to show you some really insane things right here. Solana, 152. 
152 guys. This was this was at 200 just the other day, right? So what what an amazing buying opportunity, right? What else, what else do we know that's been like absolutely just crushing? Remember Celestia went on that godlike moat, that godlike run. I think Celestia right now is just where is Celestia? It is just like unbelievable. Uh, and yeah, dog with hat. I mean, whew, from three, but, but four something point. But like, this is the this is this is the point of the video, guys. Is like, for me personally, I'm fully exposed in positions, right? So I I can't I I don't, I don't have dry powder sitting on the side uh, to go and 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 ape into these things. But what I do do, right, is I use something like Ave. Uh, app, uh, Ave, and there's all there's this, this also exists on other protocols for you know Solana and other thing too. But what I like to do is I like to use these things to do what's called what's called looping, you know. And um, well, since I since I, I I guess I could just show you guys here real quick what what I would do, right? So like right now uh, I'm connected here with my wallet. This is like my Docs wallet. Everyone knows, um, and I've got sixteen thousand dollars in stablecoin here. Um, but let's say that uh, let's let's see how can we do this easily. Let's let's switch this to let's say I want to accumulate Bitcoin, right? And so we're gonna switch uh, we're gonna switch from let's go Polygon to Ethereum. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna uh, change from USDT to Bitcoin because let's say that we our intention right now is to stack Bitcoin or you never want to sell your Bitcoin, right? And so what I'm going to do right now, just for fun, is I'm going to let's say that I have, you know, let's say I got, like I got ten thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin, right? So let me go ahead and buy this, uh, and and we'll do this in a second. And what what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, and you, you guys can't see, but I use Rabi Wallet. I love Rabi Wallet. Uh, it's once you use it, you'll never go back to MetaMask. Um, ah, nice hydration. Okay. So what I'm going to do is give you an example of like how I, because 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 if you guys are like me right now and I, I'm in a lot of the private groups that I'm in, uh, people are absolutely um, absolutely 100% exposed into the market right now. And so, guys, by the way, should I should I, I don't like just help me out here in the comments? I'm just going to start a space on <laughs> on uh, on Twitter and then tell people to come join. Um, tell people to come join. Uh, YouTube, I guess, right? Or, or should I just let it run on the uh, on Twitter Spaces? I have no idea. But we'll fi we'll figure this out as we go. Um, let's see here. Right on. Okay, let's just see what happens. <sighs> Wish me luck. <laughs> okay, so so I got okay. So I, did I buy my Bitcoin yet? Not yet. All right, switch. And. All right, so this this is what what you want to do here if you don't have if you're fully in, 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 allocated to the market because we're like we're well into a bull run right now. There are some errors. Please try to change your parameters. What? Get get out of here. Try to create slippage. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Okay, let's let's just let's say I've got five thousand dollars. Too much slippage. Come on, I'm gonna increase slippage to one percent just to make sure it goes through. Switch. Depe. Uh, I see like uh. Like okay, so De Depe, I'll tell you the one thing I, I don't like about it. I I've asked my friends who who all got in Depe together. It's like they don't want to get off of that stupid permanent stepping bonding curve, and uh, it, and and I think it's dumb. Like like go to go to a normal Dex. Um, <laughs> I love browsers. Uh, that's that's one of the higher quality sites, isn't it? Okay, okay. So I just bought my Bitcoin. Okay, right. So. Uh, yeah, Depe got, Depe got wrecked, um, but like, everything got wrecked, guys. Like, like, literally, if you say something got wrecked within the past, like, whatever, since the market's been correcting, you're, you're, you're right. Um, but we've also seen uh, DJ and Chain, like, I also thought that that was thing was maybe never, like, I thought it was going to be like a, a quick fad. And then if you actually look behind the scenes, it's like a cabal behind, like, like the people behind uh, DJ and Chain are actually a lot of big VCs and things like that. So, man, this Twitter space isn't working. Um, I don't know what to do with that. So, oh, well, I guess, fuck it, right? Let's just, uh, let's close out of that. Let's close out of this. We'll try it again. Um, maybe what you guys could do, what you guys could do be a favor is, guys, make sure that you retweet this, please. Uh, but, but, but did I even make a tweet? Share it, like the video, help a brother out. 
Um, and let's let's get let's get people in here because we got alpha. And yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna go through like all the coins that we're talking about. Okay, ADD Kyle, let's focus. So, in this example, let's just pretend you, you can see what I actually have here, but my head's in the way. So, how do I move my noggin? Let's see. Let's just do this for now, like this. Okay, and so let's just so let's just say that, like for okay this let's say this is what I have in my wallet here right and let's say that I didn't have this 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 uh, this stable coin all I had was this five thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin so what do I do right I I, I I there's a huge dip right now I want to uh, I, I want to I want I want to get more exposures because everything's on sale right now everything's on sale so. So what I do, okay, so first of all, I, ha I have to supply my collateral. So if I got my Bitcoin, but I don't want to sell it, um, and Aave, you have wrapped Bitcoin. So I'm going to supply $5,000 worth of Bitcoin in collateral in, uh, in Aave. Now, guys, this is exactly the same method that Michael Saylor does. It, exactly. Like, this is exactly how he's been able to be the goat of all goats, right? But <laughs> with all due respect... I've been doing this a lot longer than Michael Saylor. He just happens to have a fuck ton more money than me. But this is a really effective method. Um, it's it's kind of like, in in a way, it's using leverage, but it's not nearly as dangerous uh, as using leverage um, on on like a uh, on Bybit or something. It does allow it does allow you to leverage your collateral. Um, and and today in this live stream, I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to um, teach you about all the risks and stuff. But there is risk. You're setting a health score. And I will make a dedicated video to this later because I think I think it's such an amazing tool to use that I don't think uh, people actually realize. So what see so what you see here? Um, let's, let's let's add it to wallet. So basically, I've supplied my collateral, my my wrap Bitcoin, uh, and please uh, token address on multiple chain, please your Ethereum. So I've supplied my wrap Bitcoin that otherwise wasn't being used. I was just holding on to it. I still have it. And right now it's used as collateral. So it's a it's five thousand US dollars worth of Bitcoin. And I want to go buy something right now, right? I want to go buy WIF, for example. WIF is massively on sale. So what do I do? Right now, I go over and I want to borrow something. I want to borrow either USDT or USDC, right? And uh, you can either choose from a variable rate or a fixed rate. Again, I'll go into details later. Let's just say that I'm gonna borrow uh, USDT. So this is the important thing to pay attention to here. So if I have $5,000 worth of collateral, well, I obviously, if I borrow 5,000, I don't think it'll let me. It will let me, it will let me. Oh no, no, the, ma the max it'll let me borrow uh, is $3,600. And that then my health score is 1.07, which is in a red. If the value of my, my collateral drops just a little bit, they're gonna start selling my Bitcoin to repay my loan. So I don't wanna do, I don't, you, you wanna be pretty conservative in this. Let, let's say I, I borrow $2,000. Okay, that's pretty healthy. Look, my, my health score is at 1.94. I can sustain easily like another 50% loss from here and still be fine. So I'm gonna borrow this USDT right now. And uh, and that's literally how now I just got, and, and if you have this more, if you got more money than this, if you got, you know, if you got like, like for me, I don't touch my Bitcoin, right? Like I've got a lot of Bitcoin and ETH and Link and all these assets here on the left-hand side, there's, there's more you can use as collateral. And then you can use it in, uh, you can use it on on uh, different chains too. They've got you, uh, Polygon, you've got Arbitrum, you've got all these things that you can use it for. So um, I should already be here. Add, and you guys said so before I had eleven thousand USDT in my wallet, and now I have. Okay, so and now I have thirteen thousand. So I've, I got two thousand extra dollars. You can see my loan right here is two thousand dollars. I'm paying twelve point five six percent APY a year. That's a high interest rate, but of course, I expect to turn this $2,000 into twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 over the course of a bull run, so that, that's nothing. So now what I can do, let's, let's just say I wanted to increase my Bitcoin holdings, right? So what I could do here is I could simply just come over here and I can go to like, I'll use uh, one inch, for example. I will buy some, I will buy, use that, use that $2,000 of, let's see which wallet's connected. Uh, yeah, perfect. I will use that $2,000 with the state of, of of a stable coin that I just borrowed, and I'm gonna use it to buy more wrapped Bitcoin. Bam, max. So I'm gonna buy, now I'm gonna buy wrapped Bitcoin. And what you'll, what you'll notice, I'll, I'll let this process, and then what you'll notice is that my, my health score 
will increase once I deposit this newly purchased uh, wrapped Bitcoin back into Aave. So you can see right now my health score is 1.94, right? And, uh, and as soon as this is done, see right now I, I have no wrapped Bitcoin here, but as soon as it's done, let's see. Yeah, give it a sec. Anyway, so as soon as it's done, I'm, I'm going to go, it'll show up here and then I'm going to hit supply. And then again, I'm going to add it up here to my collateral. And then my, the, the balance of my collateral actually increases. It'll, it'll actually increase from, from $5,000 to $7,000. My health score will increase, which means I can borrow more stable coin and I can go buy more rat Bitcoin. And then I can, I can put that back into uh, collateral as well. And you can do this over and over and over again and, until you're healthy with your risk score. I've done this many times. Uh, anyway, guys, that, that wasn't even supposed to be part of the show, but um, I thought it was important because this is a really good opportunity here to buy the dip. So we'll get into some of the some of the the things that I'm looking to buy, and I'm also seeing if any of these uh, any of my friends want to come on and do uh, if anyone wants to come on and do um, TA. Like I, I got because you know I'm. Pfft. <laughs> it's not me, right? Not me. Um, okay, so guys, here's 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 the reason that the markets are collapsing, right? There's a war going. There's, there's a war that could start today with like uh, who is it? Iran and 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 uh, you know the U.S. is going to defend Israel. Um, Iran and Israel on the full full on war, and the U.S. is saying that they're going to defend Israel. And this guy's super pissed off. And he's saying, F you, you son of a bitch. Stay, mean, <laughs> mind your own business, get the hell out. You know, it is, it is what it is. Like, and like, I'm not very political. I disunderstand something very important that, uh, that when a war happens historically, and if you guys, if, if you just look at the, the, uh, un, the, the unclassified documents that came from the CIA or from Edward Snowden, you know that the U.S. historically has started wars in order for some sort of self-interest goal, right? We know that the the, the Bay of Pigs uh, and the Cuban Missile Crisis was started. It was was it was a U.S. submarine attacking uh, an ally ship or whatever in order to uh, in order to, to create a false flag and go to war. I'm not I'm not saying that this is that, but the fact is, is that every time that 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 uh, that we go to war, the economy pumps. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that the economy is in a very bad place. And guess who really wants to be reelected, even though I don't think he knows he wants to be reelected, but his puppet masters know is, 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 uh, is Bowdoin, right? <laughs> Which I picked, the wrong, I picked the wrong meme on that one. If you guys who did pick Bowdoin, bravo. Um, okay, yeah, more war and stuff. Like, I, don't really, I don't really care because the, my, my thesis here is the markets are going to pump like hell. They're going to pump like hell. And this is the last chance, the best chance that you have to freaking buy the hell out of whatever. This is it. This is it. And, and the things that, that you thought that you missed out on a month ago, two months ago, oh, Kyle, I wish you would have told me to pay, to buy more of that, blah, blah, blah. Why do you tell me when it was 18 cents? Guess what? It is again. Oh Kyle, why didn't you tell me when blah, 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 you know Pepe coin was at like uh, you know two, 250 million? Well, guess what? It's not quite that low, but like oh, uh, you every one of you guys have have now seen a token or a coin that you felt like you should get into. Your friend told you about it, whatever. You didn't. The thing pumped like hell, and afterwards you were like. Oh, I should have listened to that guy. And now that it's down again to the same price it was two months ago, I bet you're sitting there thinking, oh, I don't know if I want to buy it. It looks kind of risky now. You have to remember that to make the most money in these markets, you must do the opposite of what everyone else is doing. So buy the bags of the paper hands right now. Buy the bags of the, of the people who don't understand market, market psychology. This is how you absolutely destroy it in this industry. Um, so let's see, where are we? So some other news, like, like there's, fundamentally, we've never been in a better place ever, right? Like 
there's this new EIP 374. We're not going to go into detail, but basically what it's going to make is like a, a account abstraction and the, the things that we've been talking about for the uh, the Coinbase smart wallet or intelligent wallet, account abstraction, all the complicated, like this is going to become a standard right now. And uh, this is going to be a, this is going to become a standard for all ETH-based wallets, which is going to make, this is exactly where we need to be as an industry to onboard a billion people. It needs to be super easy to use. Like, like people cannot be nervous, like, uh, you know, setting up a wallet. Like, they have to feel comfortable, right? It has to feel like a Robin Hood or something. It's super easy. Um, and it still has to be safe and secure. I love water. Yeah, you, we are literally about to go straight up, like straight up. I'm, I'm, what am I drinking? I'm drinking water. <laughs> um, no, ETH is ETH is ETH is not garbage, right? Like, um, like that's that's uh, it's a silly thing to say, but, um, like I, I think that like a good way to answer this is, uh, I, th I think it was like Andres Antonopoulos or something once said like, if we could if we could build the internet from the ground up all over again right now. <laughs> Danny thought it was vodka. Yeah, like, I, guys, uh, like, you have to remember that, like, there's DJ and Kyle who, like, likes to make the YouTube videos. And then, like, there's also Kyle that runs, you know, a bunch of different companies that manages other people's money. And that Kyle needs to make sure that he doesn't come off looking like a fool uh, in front of a live audience um, on a Friday night. Like, <laughs> and guys, if you are watching and you're, you're thinking about inv investing in our, next, in our next fund, because fund two, is opening very soon. Our fund one was a $20 million fund. Very, very successful. Um, if fund two, we're about to start raising money for. And uh, and actually, if you guys are watching this um, and you are either, hopefully you're not an American, but if you are, if you're only, I'm sorry, only if you're accredited, but the rest of the world, um, and of course, you can't be from like North Korea or something, but like, unless you're Kim Jong-un, then you can you can come hang out with us. But like, no, just, just kidding. <laughs> But but if you're watching Kim, like I, I've I, no hard feelings, bro. Like, please don't blow me up with a missile. Um, so, uh, so yeah. So anyway, we're doing uh, fun too. So, like, I just need everyone to understand that. Um, like, I guys, I'm now 39 years old, right? And I've got like a mission. I, I, I've got a mission to, to, to really like. I am so so fucking pumped about Commonwealth and Paid Network right now. What we're building, I, I can't even express to you because what when when everyone starts to understand the economic model. And I'll get into this in a second, but what we're building, it's gonna, everyone's mind just gonna go, literally will explode. Because you guys, you guys will, <laughs> everyone will look at all these other projects with tokens and be like, what the hell does your token do? Why is all the revenue going into the pockets of the founders? Like what, what the hell is going on here? If you have the time, if you have the time, let me, let me just show you guys some alpha. So it's a, uh, it's a uh, systems innovation, uh, token econo economics. So it should be on YouTube. It should be an entire playlist. Yeah, it's this one right here. Highly. I love this channel, guys. Uh, I love this. And, and if, if you learn, I, I promise you this. If you do this, and this is what I tell to all of my new employees, if you want to know more than 99% of people in this space, not even joking, not joking at all. If you want to know more than 99% of the people in the space, and I, I highly suggest that you do, you go watch these three things. So you go to this YouTube channel called Systems Innovation, go under playlist, and you watch three. Uh, let's see. Ba, 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 they've re reorganized it a bit here. Let's see, Dr. Mary Systems Innovation series. God, they, uh, let's see, where would it be? Probably here, right? Let's see. Man, I need to find the uh, systems innovation blockchain. So, okay, so this is one of the courses. So, uh, blockchain, so it's, it's a course, right? Uh, blockchain one, two, uh, intro. So, I wish I knew how, I uh, wish I knew. Blockchain course intro, seven chapters, this one. Yeah. So, so first you watch the blockchain one, and then you do, then after that, you go to, uh, you go to game theory.
Okay, so then you go to the game theory playlist. Unbelievable, you guys. Like you, like I swear to God, you guys will 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 learn a shitload. Uh, and then and then what you do after that? So you go, you do your blockchain course, and even if you even if you understand, it's still I, I still watch it today. Like, uh, and then you go to token economics economics. Uh, token e economics. Uh, this one. This is a, a another um, tokenomics course intro. So this this course, uh, and, and I'm, I don't have the time to figure out how the playlists go. But, but basically, that, those are the three that you should watch in order. <clears throat> if you guys watch that, you will know more than most people in the industry. And uh, <clears throat> I, I just highly suggest that you do. So, with that being said, um, yeah. So to, so back to the vodka comment. I guess like I'm not drinking vodka. Like I, I'm. I'm really trying to to to, to build some in, some amazing stuff. Hong Kong, guys, I've been, we've been talking about this on my channel for a while. We we now have Germany with Bitcoin ETFs. We've got Brazil buying the BlackRock ETFs. Hong Kong and China coming in. And if you saw my video the other day, the the rich Chinese are super worried about the uh, the RMB, their their local currency going to zero. And uh, and so they've been buying gold, and gold's been at a thirty percent premium. Probably within the next seven days most chinese certainly anyone in hong kong but most Chinese will have the opportunity to buy bitcoin and there are a lot of very rich very rich chinese people that in china has what's called capital controls guys you cannot take more than fifty thousand dollars a year out of out of china if you're there you, you can't if you've got a billionaire you can't take more than fifty thousand dollars a year out so what do they do? They get creative. They buy a they'll, they'll buy a a huge rare emerald stone for like twenty million dollars, and they'll have it shipped to like Sotheby's in New York, and then they'll go buy it at their own auction or whatever. Like that's how they have to smuggle money right now. It's so dumb, right? But if you could just own Bitcoin, problem solved. Anyway, point is fundamentally, never, things have never been stronger. Mining mining uh, hash rate is stronger than ever. <clears throat> the the miners will always be incentive now that we have runes launching um the 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 layer one and this is also back to the ethereum comments earlier bitcoin is always going to be the just this unbelievably the most secure network in the world that will be up and running for all of our lifetimes and it's going to stay that way no it's going to stay slow and expensive and it's secure forever like the the, the core foundation of it that's what it's going to be and we're going to be relying on layer twos and layer threes. And, and, and in a way, that's not a bad idea because if, if I'm buying a house or something and I spend $2 million, I'm not sending that on a lightning network state channel. And I'm not sending that on i I'm not sending that on a, a layer two either. I'm sending that on Bitcoin layer one because I know there's finality. I know it's, it's I know that there's no way to reverse that transaction. But if I want to buy a cup of coffee, I'm going to be using uh, the cheapest L2 or whatever, right? Um, or, or I'll use DJ and Chain to pay for it. It's basically free. So um, the, 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 the higher you up, the less security you have, but the cheaper transactions, who cares? So moving along, did we come? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is good. So, so the banks, guys, the banks are buying uh, like major, major Bitcoins. Uh, I told you a couple of weeks ago that we're going to start having all of these. Um, these tax filings or these, these transparency reports. And we're, we're going to get to see what public companies own Bitcoin that haven't announced it. You announce it. You can see like city holding companies. So Citibank um, has, has Bitcoin. Uh, I didn't even look at these before we shot. Like there's another one here, which is someone, uh, American National Bank owns Bitcoin. These guys all own Bitcoin, right? Like uh, all the banks are buying Bitcoin and they didn't tell us before, but, but now we know. So, Chainlink. You guys know I'm I'm bullish on Chainlink from a, from a, as, as a blue chip, and I wasn't super. I wasn't really bullish on Chainlink when it was just data data feeds, price feeds. Like that's not, in my opinion, like they don't have a protective moat around that, and it's not something that is like like it's also not hard to replicate, right? And people like Python. And there's other competition coming in. Super Oracles, whatever. But CCIP is when I became uber bullish. And uh, 
No, 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 uh, uh, Bernard. I said, I said, I said the fund. So, so MV Capital. So, my company is as was Master Ventures, and now it's rebranded as a as a as a kind of a umbrella company that, that owns other things. And one of those is is MV Capital. Uh, we 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 raised money for a twenty million dollar fund uh, two and a half years ago, and that fund is is uh, is pretty much is pretty much deployed. And now we're we're getting ready to to raise fund two. So what I was saying, guys, is like as, as uh, there could be an opportunity here. Um, there could be an opportunity here for for you guys to participate in that if you're interested. Um, and I said for that rule for the rules of that though would be that if you are an American, you'd have to be a accredited investor. Um, and if you're not, then it's much easier, right? And uh, and I don't know what I can legally say at this point, so I'm just gonna sh stop now with that. Um, guys, asking the, like, uh, I, I don't know how I can answer the questions about like Americans participating in, um, in Commonwealth and paid, uh, I'm just, I, I if, if it was, if it was like a, a, a dead set, hard set, no, I would tell you that right now. I can tell you that the CFTC which are which is the Ameri the agency that actually goes after people for like uh, violations of uh, AML and KYC and stuff like that. They put out they put out some sort of guidance saying that if there's an occasional transaction that's less than a thousand dollars, typically KYC is not needed, right? Um, and so I th you, know, you have to remember that I am someone who tries to follow as close to web three morals, ethos and values as possible. Meaning that I want all of the products that we build to be fully decentralized, permissionless, open censorship resistant, uh, and ran, ran for, from a, the DAO, a DAO governance. And we, we will get there progressively. Um, but you know, like that's like saying, that's like saying, can American use Ethereum, right? Like it's, it's, it, there's no, a North Korean can use Ethereum, right? Like there's, there's no, it, it's permissionless. So th this is the most important thing. Um, so anyway, back to Chainlink, why, you know, it, it seems like it's a, you know, I, I made that video on it a while back saying I was going to invest a million dollars. I did, it, it did, you know, three X out of, after that. And now I think the big thing is that they're waiting for, um, like they need CCIP to be in full swing. And then they need to, they need to kick in these, uh, these, five-year proof of concept partnerships with SWIFT, with DTCC, all the other institutions, because that's when the real revenue is going to be coming in like insane. And I mean, real revenue, like if they're taking a, a certain percentage of all the value and messaging that's being flown uh, from chain to chain to chain to chain using CCIP, that's a trillion dollar protocol over the, you know, by 2030. Like, like that's, that will become more valuable than most companies on the planet. It's a, it's a thousand dollar link. Right. And people just can't fathom that right now, but why is it so hard to fathom like a, 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 a product that services the entire financial system being that like middleware that essentially has a monopoly on that doesn't have any kind of a political, uh, political interference, right? Like someone from Russia is not going to use it because, uh, because it's like an American product or something. Right. Um, and I think that's amazing. I think that's, that's, that's something that's going to be really imp impressive. So, so I, I've been trying this out for a couple of days. The chain link team gave me early access and it's called transporter. This is the, uh, this is the most secure way because bridges guys, by the way, bridges, um, I, if you've been watching my channel for a long time, you know, I'm very, very, very like, weary of using bridges bridges have been responsible for the the most loss of value in our industry by magnitudes by magnitudes so transporter has as it's it has what they call five levels five levels of security anyway guys i i, I want to get into some other stuff um but this is very impressive it, it's still quite limited to the assets they offer and it's a little bit slow because it's the most secure so i would say that if you're just doing like if you're not in a rush, then use this every time if if they have the assets that you want, but like they, they have limited assets right now, they will add to that over time. What I often have to do because I, 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 I have tokens on many different chains, 
But then let's say I want to make an investment in like say Pepe coin on ETH, but I've got USDT on Avalanche and base. I need to get that to ETH, right? So what do I do? I go to like, you know, here I'll go to Avalanche and then I'll, I want to, you know, go to Ethereum, for example. And let's say, you know, USDC, I don't have any in my wallet right now, but then I, I would just do this, switch, you know, and then, and then uh, let's see if I do, I don't know. Yeah, I've got, I don't have any balance available. Anyway, then you just hit send and, uh, and, and, and that's it. And then it, do, it does it. Um, you don't have that bridge risk, that, that risk of hacking. And, and so this is a product that's live that is actually using TCIP in a seamless, beautiful way. Um, it's really nice to see. And again, like I've just been, it, like for you to not be bullish on Chainlink would be, I don't even know the word to use, but uh, um, again, it's not something that I think is going it, to, it's not going to pump insanely like 10 X, like within the next, you know, the next like, you know, seven days, like a meme coin will, but, and trust me, there's better upside plays in the short term, but I do think though that what it's important to do for us as we go through this bull market is we take, if you've got the risk appetite for it, you take the more risky, high risk, high reward plays and you take profit out of those. Guess what? Not into shitty, shitty fiat that literally has lost 25% of its purchasing power in the last four years, but you put it into your favorite blue chips, right? The ones that we, that we are quite comfortable are going to be more valuable in the future, increase in purchasing power, and will become very scarce and valuable over time. For me, that's assets like that's assets like Bitcoin, it's assets like Ethereum, uh, Chainlink. More recently, Solana, but, but we'll see. Uh, you know, the outage was kind of a bummer, but still, I think Solana is great. And, uh, and you know, there's, there's not too many others right now that I can think of that I would consider a blue chip, um, that, that I, I feel super comfortable putting, you know, taking profits in and keeping that for the long run, right? The retirement. So, um, of course for me, it, it, a lot of that is Bitcoin. Um, but if you guys watch this often, you will know that, uh, that I, I went heavy, 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 heavy into Yes, but it's not just based, brother. It's based AI and Pepe coin. Now, I made the video on this before. I'm not going to go into the full story. If you haven't seen it, go watch my videos. I think the first one on it says, imagine buying Tao at 10 bucks. Um, but I want to show you guys something that's absolutely wild. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, let's see. It's got to be here somewhere, but I haven't do it. Okay, there's that. There's that. Oh, yeah, these guys are making commercials. Um, and then let's see. Do I have it somewhere? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Nope. Mm. Okay, anyway, I'll come back to it. I'll come back to it. But I do want to show you. Okay. So the number one AI coin right now is based AI for a very good reason. And very, very, very good reason. And right now, guys, it is on one hell of a discount. So I know, I know where I can find it. I know where I can find it exactly. Watch this, just because I want to show it to you guys. It's, it's a bit of a, a, bit of a mind, mind F here. Let's go here, here, here. So explain this to me. Explain this to me. This is from Elon Musk, March 1st, 2023. Who, who writes this? Like, and, and, and one just says based AI. If, if anyone has any ideas in the comments, let me know, like, because like I said, I, I'm pretty close with the developers of Pepe Coin and, and based AI. I, I don't know who they are personally, but I've, I've talked to them many times on the phone. We've done strategy sessions together. Like, um, I just, I, I think they're great guys. And so I sent this, I sent this to one of them. I said, yo, 
and he's told me before, he's, he's like, man, Kyle, I wish it, you, I could tell you who was behind this. And so I sent this tweet to him, like, uh, pl explain, sir, please. And he's like, it's a coincidence, you know? And so if you have to be sworn to secrecy, secrecy then they're like, that's, that's the answer you have to give. But I'm trying to understand why on March 1st, 2023, which is, you know, a, after the inception of what the team started working on, which is based AI, this tweet from Elon Musk comes out. And you, when you think about Elon's, when you think about his past, PayPal, first of all, he wanted to be PayPal, like a Bitcoin almost, like a, you know, a peer-to-peer -peer, uh, trustless system kind of thing. It didn't work out, got overbought. Um, and then he, tried, then he wanted to do open AI, and then that got corporatized and sold out. So he's learned his lesson now on like, if you really want to do something impactful, you have to kind of operate from the shadows. Um, I, 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 I just can't think of any other reason that you would do this. Uh, because, because if you look at the, ba the based AI documentation, everything there is spelt like that, as in one word. Um, like, like John, like John Jones, like here, like this is what you would expect to spell it, right? Like based slash AI, or if, if you say like, yo, that's one of the most based devs in the space. He built so-and-so in, in 10 days. Well, based and then devs would be in two words or like, yo, that guy's based as fuck they are based AF. That's also would be spelled with two words with a space in between it. If you look at all the documentation the name of based AI, everything, it's spelt in one word. And I even had a, I even had a, a bit of a discussion with someone that was, um, a team member that was helping me with my, my description in one of my videos. And I said, hey man, you, you spelt it incorrectly. Like uh, it's, it's not based space, space AI. Like they intentionally keep it one word. Um, let's, let's, like, like that's intentional, obviously. And uh, yeah, yeah. So this is this is this is what like this is my my, and and guys, I, I mean, I, I literally asked a dev, and he said this, this is just a coincidence, and and it, and it very well could be, but I, I I'm just trying to think of the logic, of why Elon would, po would just post this exact same spelling, exactly the way it is. I I don't know. Um, but as you guys know, uh, or, or if you, if you've watched the channel, I am extremely bullish on based AI and Pepe Coin, uh. Pepe coin, if you, if you real quick, the TLDR is that Pepe coin was is the the uh, original. This one here is the original Pepe coin. Uh, built the, the team built their own layer one blockchain back in 2016, and uh, we're going to migrate to ETH in 2023. And then these other uh, a holes came and copied the logo. They copied the the name, everything, and the fake copycats are the ones who ended up going to the Pepe that we know now. It's that's very famous and popular. But if you pay attention. This Pepe coin is getting more and more and more attention when people start to understand the story. And there's a lot of value behind Pepe coin because this Pepe coin is directly tied to based AI. It's the same, a lot of the same developers building the same project. So to me, this is a, a no brainer. It's, it's, at, it's at 757 million when the other Pepe is at like 4 billion. And I believe that once the word of Pepe coin starts spreading with people to people, People will do what I did. Once, once I was convinced that this dev team has an amazing track record, they do what they say they're going to do, and this, this Pepe coin is, is tied directly to like th the most insane AI project in blockchain. Like, and if that gets popular, this, the supply of Pepe coin gets effectively reduced by 80%. There's no easier play in the space. And so I believe that once... Pepe coin starts to creep up on, on Pepe that people will do what I did. I literally jumped ship. I sold all my Pepe for Pepe coin and, uh, and I, I couldn't be happier. And I think that that will start to happen like, um, like one, one domino, the next domino, then go, 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 go. And then everybody will jump ship. You don't want to be on the Titanic when it sinks. You want to jump on the, the new and improved, uh, cruise ship. That's, uh, that's passing by waving at everybody, uh, that, that decided to not jump, uh, off the sinking ship. So. Uh, and then you guys know, yeah. And then also right here. Yeah, yeah. So right now you can stake, what does it say? So right now you can stake Pepe coin for based AI, um, until May 20th. Yeah. And, and, and this is so, so guys, I, I suggest that you go back and watch 
my video. Um, <laughs> don't forget my ticket. Yeah, uh, I just so the video is great, guys. That, that I did. I, I, I like on. I've made a couple of videos now on base AI and Pepe Coin, um, but it goes into everything. The whole explanation of why the Pepe Coin supply is going to be incinerated soon enough. Um, all this kind of stuff. Uh, where can you buy Pepe Coin? Um, so I, I always try to buy things on DEXs, but I understand that they're kind of expensive. Um, because uh, why are Pepe Coin and Base AI uh, on ETH? Damn, gas fees. Yes. So guys, uh, Base AI is just temporarily on ETH until they're, they're, it's a layer one. So in May, the layer one should launch, and then you will swap out your uh, Pepe Coin for and your your based AI for the 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 based AI layer one version of it, which will be cheaper and faster. But yeah, I suggest suggest you watch that video. Um, it's great on my channel. If you guys aren't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel because if you were subscribed, you guys would have been getting, got here on on uh, Tucker over here and like free basically. <laughs> It was like uh, even even now with the pullback, we're still up like what is it like thirty five x or something? Um, and I told you when we were making this video, and then I, and I told you I doubled down before, and then and then even today I, I I added more to my bag. Why? You can see these are my buyers from today, like, and then these are my, the other ones from before, like because I made a lot of money on. The fake Pepe and Bonk and and uh, and Whiff and 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 as I have more conviction, and as I feel more confident that it's going to achieve multi-billion dollar market cap, I'm okay buying in at 150 million dollars. I'm okay buying in this one at a 75 million dollar for Tuker. Like, plus, have you seen the content? It's it's unbelievably amazing. As and if you guys watch a video, you know when I reviewed this here on this day. As I was reviewing it on on the the, the channel, I'm like, I'm dude, I'm buying this thing. Like this is this is brilliant. Um, so I G to Pepe Coin in 2020 uh, in December 20th. Oh, I do. I uh, I I feel you. So um, so my my friend uh, John, hello, if you're out there listening. Um, I was told about Pepe Coin. That I, just I I really have. I'm lucky that I got it when I got it um, and paid, because the first person to bring it to my attention was actually the dev. The dev reached out to me directly and said, Kyle, um, this is Pepe coin. We're going to be doing some based AI. I just want if I should know about it. My telegram is crazy. I didn't even see it. He wrote me a couple more times. I, I didn't see it or I ignored it. And then one time he wrote me and I, I read the message and he's like, yeah, our main net is going live soon and ha told me the narrative. And I was like, wow, this sounds interesting. And then realized that he had he had mentioned he had messaged me months months before when it was even way cheaper, and, uh, and I didn't see it. But needless, needless to say, I did a bunch of due, due diligence, met the devs, and um, and decided to go really really heavy into it afterwards, because it's such an obvious play. Sorry, I'm I'm, I'm too correct. I'm talking about base AI and Pepe Coin, but it's such an obvious play. Like base AI has so many more reasons to be, be better and more bullish than, than, uh, than Tau, than BitTensor. Uh, you have privacy protecting uh, the most advanced encryption in the world, uses uh, ZK LLMs, uses uh, FHE, fully homomorphic encryption, so you can trust these AI models with all your sensitive data and know with, without a shadow of a doubt, it's not going to be able to be decrypted by anyone else besides you, um, which is really, really important for the financial system. Um, and so base AI is using all of this. They also have their own version of an EVM. So you can build with like a Solidity smart contracts and other languages as well. Just insane, right? Insane team that's been delivering since 2016 on different and always adding value to the community. Um, so I just wanted to talk about that for a second. And uh, where, are, where are we now? So, so what I'll now do is this is a sneak peek. Wait, no, wait, wait. I have actual, I have the real link, guys. I have the real link. Let's open it up. So pay, let's talk about paid network for a minute because, as you guys know, this is uh, our flagship and uh, paid network. And to me, it's one, it's it's very important that this thing does extremely well. But we also have to be patient for it, right? We have to be patient because we could have easily uh, launched paid network the same way that we did last bull run, and uh, and it would have been okay, right? But but it, but just okay. Um, 
and, and so I wanted to go back to the drawing board and figure out how, what is, what is the, please don't think about paid as like an ideal launch pad. Think of it more like I was a, as a, a high end crowdfunding platform that shares 100% of the profits and revenue and value created with the token holders. Like, so imagine like a coin list, but instead of us keeping revenue, it goes back into the token economy. Um, but what I wanted to do to be able to explain it to people more easily is, is if you go to paid network, make sure that you guys all, first of all, go follow. Um, and yes, this is organic. So you're not going to see like 700,000 followers, but we have 150,000. But anyway, check this out, this video, and then maybe I'll, I'll explain it. Um, I, I haven't seen this with you. Did you guys hear that, by the way? Uh, just because I don't know if the sound is, uh, yeah, guys, I, I, I um, yeah, base AI and Pepe coin are, are nuts. And, and just so you know, uh, guys, if, if you could let me know, um, just about the sound, if you could hear it on the video here, just, just, just give me a yay or nay. Uh, no, no. Can you guys hear the sound? No, no sound. Okay, fine. It's, it's very unfortunate that you can't hear the sound. I don't know why, but um, that is uh, that is unfortunate, guys. Um, yes, well, I see a yes. Okay, yes, I would like this. But we, you can hear the sound. Okay, yeah, please, please, guys, guys, guys. There's no sound now. Can people stop at the comments? Yeah, yes, you can hear me. But I, I want to know if you can hear the sound from this video here, like. Um, that's like, now, can you hear the sound? Okay. Wait a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, wait a minute. Mic check, one, two, one, two. Let's see, is it multi-output device? And then we're gonna go this guy. Okay, I'm gonna, I'll try, I'll try, I'll try this. I'll try this, let me try this. Uh, let's see if this works, this, this should work probably. Let's go, um, let's start over here. And then to this. Okay. Okay. So that is, uh, okay. So, 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 so let me just break this down for a second, guys, because this is, this is mind blowing insane. Like, like you, you, like we're, this will be on a dashboard where everyone can see this. It's insane. It's like, it's like, uh, you, you know how everyone got bullish. Um, you, you know, how everyone got bullish because like all this ETF inflows, uh, were coming in because we, you knew that these institutions would just be buying Bitcoin uh for the for 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 the for the for the, for, blah, 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 for the foreseeable future um it's like that so so this example here is just one project raising 10 million dollars like uh, I'll I'll explain it to it in just a second No, no freaking way. I, I just saw this in the comments here that 
Uh, Pavel, can you, Pavel, can you, can you, uh, can you send me, um, uh, can you put a link uh, to that? That would be, because I watched uh, his interview, um, uh, uh, or maybe yeah, the guy from Stability, right? The guy that quit. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 uh, I watched his interview with, um, with Peter uh, Diamandis. And when he was describing what he wants to build with his new project, I was like, bro, <laughs> it, base AI is already done with that. Like, they, they, like, don't worry about the infrastructure. Base AI has already built it and mainnet goes live next month. So just worry about adding your business use case to it. Um, so yeah, if you could, if you could please find that tweet and share the comments would be amazing. Uh, so guys, the video, if, if you could hear it and it can't hear him, I'm sorry, whatever, go to the paid uh, website and you can watch it. Um, there's a really good article that breaks down and, and we will go into this a bit more detail, but like, um, just go here to pay, paid network and, uh, and look at the ignition update, advancing our circular economy. Let me, let me give you an example here. Cause this is, this is really important to understand. So we know now we've announced already that we have, uh, the first project coming up $750,000. Let, let's just round up to a million. Okay. And then we know that we have, uh, we have Umoja coming up sick private sale guys this is a private sale this is the same round that vcs get into that all the the best tier one captives get into this you get to get in the same it's, it's not it's, it's a better valuation than public sale you get to participate in we get that's a six million dollar raise there and then we know commonwealth is reviewing nine million dollars and there's more that i can't announce yet but let's just say and and really the biggest thing is that is that uh, founders and everyone, everyone is a little bit skeptical right now on like, Kyle, can, can paid network raise $10 million? Does, does it, does it bear shit in the woods? Like, like, do you know how many retail people are like, everyone forgot about you guys. Everyone forgot about the 99%. Like now, if you talk to projects, like, yeah, we're not, we're not doing public sale. We're just going to go to VCs, KOLs, and then straight through the exchange, motherfucker. Like, like we don't want sell pressure. Like, dude, get the fuck out of here. Like, who do you think, who do you think is going to be your actual native community? Right? Who is going to be your diehard community that's going to be like, you can't forget about the billions of people on this planet who deserve an opportunity to get in before you do a 30x and dump your tokens on the retail, you know? And like, so like, I'm trying to talk some sense into people, but, um, but yeah, of course we can raise $10 million on our platform, right? Because I mean, with, with paid network, you don't have to have any paid tokens to participate. You just like, like if you're from the third world country like Vietnam or Philippines or Africa, South, what, what, whatever, if you're just, if shit doesn't matter where you're from, if all you have is $10 a week to invest in crypto, you, you don't want to, you don't really want to go gamble that on the, the shit coin casino. I mean, you can, but like, but if you want a good play, like the, go put it in one of the, uh, the, the sales that are on, on paid. Um, like, because it, you, it, you don't have to have like with most of the launch pads, you actually have to go buy the launchpad token and stake it just for a chance to try to get into the sale. But on, on paid, you don't. So on paid, imagine, the, I, I know for like the, the, the rate of adoption of crypto in Vietnam is huge. In Nigeria and a lot of African countries, huge. In, in Philippines, huge, right? And most of these people, they can only have five or 10 bucks maybe to invest. That doesn't work for every other launch pad, right? I don't even want you guys to think about paid network in the same category as an IDO launch pad. I don't like that. Those historically have been value extracting. They don't have circular token economies. With paid, the way it's designed now, me and my team that, that, that are maintaining this and running it, the only upside that we have is the tokens that we got to keep as founders and team members. And so we only make money and get rich if, if, if the pay token goes up in, in a lot of value and that's how we, but we don't, we don't take uh, cash for payments to, to, to put in our pocket. Right. So, so let, let me, let me go back to this example. Let's say on, I, I, I think this is, I think this is conservative. Let's say that, let's say that we raise on average $10 million because we're going to, we're also going to limit the amount of projects that projects that we, that we fundraise for no more than one a week. Right, because we want to be able to put attention onto these projects. We want you guys to be able to understand what they're about. We want you guys to be able to be confident about them. They're tier one projects. They have they have the the cap tables full of people like Coinbase and Pantera and Polychain. You know, A16Z. 
projects that you know are probably going to be around in the next four to eight to 10 years and not going to run out of money in a bear market and they're not going to run off with your money and scam you. Like at least the things that we launch are going to be vetted by high quality, top tier, tier one funds. And then you get a chance after that to come into that. So let's say on average, we, we do, let's say the average, but I, and I, and if, if you were around in 2017, you would know that, uh, that a lot of projects did raise $50 million or, or a hundred million dollars. And those, those, those projects still pumped and they had loyal communities. Um, so let, let's say on average, we do 10, $10 million a week. And, uh, and so that's $40 million a month that, that we raise on paid. Uh, we also have something else in, in the works too that, that actually in the, it is very exciting that you guys are going to be so happy about that we'll announce probably in the next week or two. But okay, so $40, $40 a month on average, right? This is a conservative example. Now, the, what we're calling fuel is the 15% of those tokens raised go back to being injected into the paid token ecosystem. So, that, so of, of $40 million, that's six, that, that's $6 million that the paid ecosystem has in those native tokens that it raised uh, money for. $6 million at the, at the same vesting terms, the same valuation that everybody invested at. So if it's a, you know, a, a let's say it's a 10 million, a, a, I don't know, let's say let's say it's whatever it's a it's a fifty million dollar valuation, and that thing ends up going to five hundred million dollar valuation. That does a ten x right. So remember, we had six million dollars of revenue of, in those tokens, uh, and it did. It, let's say on average, it's a ten x. That's sixty million dollars in revenue in one month earned uh, by the paid network DAO protocol. Us, all of us, who, anyone who owns paid, paid that goes to the paid economy. That's $60 million in one month. In two months, that's $120 million. In three months, that's $180 million, uh, and so on and so forth. And let's say that the average vesting term is, uh, is, is, is for these public sales are three to six months. That means you have, let's say even just one month, you have $60 million of buy pressure coming from the protocol to buy the paid token on the open market, regardless of any, if any of the retail buy it or not, nothing. Like the, 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 the protocol buys it and 50% of those tokens are burnt forever. So you, so you, so let's say one month goes by, let's just say it was all unlocked to make it this example easier. Let's say they're all unlocked at once, uh, 60 million. So 60 million goes back to buying the tokens, $30 million with the paid tokens are burnt and removed from circulation forever. The other $30 million of paid tokens. Uh, 25% go back to anyone staking paid. So this, the, the governance token stakers. That is $15 million of airdrop that you're getting every month if you're staking paid, right? To like, like, I just saw someone go crazy today for $2 million airdrop. And then the other 25% is essentially used to add liquidity to the DEXs and to, to, to uh, the trading platforms so that, so that really large whales can, can come and, and make large buy orders and large sell orders without affecting the price too much. And so this is going to, uh, exchanges want to see deep liquidity. Deep liquidity is a sign of a healthy project, right? And so that's $15 more of liquidity. But so like, imagine, imagine we, we will probably have one of the, the biggest liquidity pools of any project in, in, in the entirety of crypto. Um, so that, that guys, I'm sorry, I got derailed on that for a minute, but like, I, I see people concerned and like, I just want you to know what's coming and I, that, that I'm extremely proud of what I, what we've built here because I spent the entire bear market when everyone else was out doing whatever the fuck they were doing. I was sitting there like on the, you know, like, uh, like, like, I don't want to say like Einstein, but you know, like on a, on a whiteboard or something like, like drawing out, like, you know, trying to figure this stuff out. So. So there you have it, guys. Um, uh, Kyle, do you, do you think we should uh, take our assets off of Uniswap? Why? Uh, you, wait, your assets, you, mean, you mean like take your assets off Uniswap? What do you mean? Like, uh, are you an LP in Uniswap? Uh, if you, if, if, yeah, so the only way you would have your assets on Uniswap is if you're adding liquidity. Um, so when you add liquidity to Uniswap, um, uh, when you add liquidity to Uniswap, let's say that you have... Uh, Whatever. Let's say that you have that uh, token X and an ETH. 
Well, if, if, if there's a big market correction and token X goes down a lot in value compared to ETH, then you're going you're gonna to get way more of token X uh, than ETH, and that's what's called impermanent loss. So um, I can't go into an entire lesson there, but, but anyway, um, let, me, let, me, <clears throat> let, me, let me get through. Uh, and guys, you're asking where to buy paid. <clears throat> so we have several exchange listings lined up. I know that a lot of you, like I, I made this announcement in January, and a lot of you guys are like, Kyle, you're a fucking liar. Like, you need, <laughs> like, you know, like, uh, yeah, you always say you're going to deliver stuff. And I, I do, let's, let's say, let's, I, I do, I'm trying to be more realistic and, and, and keep my announcements. And, and it's not, guys, it's not even me. Like, uh, you guys met Justin in the AMA the other day. I'm, I'm just doing Kyle's YouTube channel right now, talking about, you know, uh, my, my, my passion project, but Justin now is, uh, the general manager over there. And he's a guy that, um, that you guys can point to and yell at if, they, if things don't get to, done on time. Um, and, and you guys are asking where to buy paid. Um, I think that, um, did we, I think we already got the, we got a Bing X listing already. Let's see. Um, and then we have also some, some, uh, we have a tier one that's already been approved. Um, I don't know when that's going to go be actioned, but, uh, um, so let, let's let's see if I think I believe it was listed on uh, Bing X already. Um, yeah, so there you go. Yeah, Bing X. Oh look, law token. Yeah. So so we have nice liquidity on on uh, Pancake Swap, <clears throat> on Uniswap. Um, like I like Dexes, uh, and you can see like this. There's like healthy liquidity here too. Um, uh, like the best place to buy it is probably on BSC chain on Pancake Swap. Like it's if you, if you know how to use it. Like it's uh. It's really good, um, but also we're talking about, and, and I'm not going to like making. We're also talking about maybe, maybe going to another chain um, or being multi-chain or something. So these kind of things are still in the works. Um, but back to announcements, guys. <clears throat> another thing that I told you guys about before was uh, was how do I remove this comment from the hide? Current? Okay, so <clears throat> let's just say that let's just say that. Um, Let's just say that 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 Gunzilla and 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 me, Master Ventures, <clears throat> we've been working together for a long time. Um, I, I believe that we were one of the first investors in Gunzilla. It was it was literally the largest check I've personally written into anything huge. Um, and then our fund invested as well. And I think that we are probably still one of the largest investors in Gunzilla and their game off the grid. Um, I, uh, I, I don't, I, I don't want to say anything else on this. Um, but let's just say, I, I, I love Vlad and the team and, and I think there's a mutual respect there and, uh, and, and this, uh, yes. So this is a big, a big, a big announcement. So you guys, I just wanted to share this with you. Um. So the so Gunzilla is a native. Uh, they have their own subnet, right? An Avalanche subnet, so their own blockchain, and it's now being integrated into OpenSea. Um, uh, there's now eight total blockchains, and Gunzilla is one of them. It's a big deal. So all the assets and everything like that can be traded on on uh, OpenSea. Good, uh, it's good too. The like validators and things like that as well. Um, pumping my bags, yeah. Like so, so just so you know, um, like if I talk about. Uh, a token. I'm, I'm usually going to have a bag of it, right? And uh, and I'll, I'll just make that disclaimer now. Like, assume that everything I talk about, I I, I have a, a skin in the game because that's those are the things that I've studied, right? And unlike a lot of other influencers who don't go deep into projects, like I uh, like like I typically typically do. And 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 if I and, and usually if you watch my channel regularly, you'll know when I say something is a gamble or when it's something I have high conviction in. And I'll usually try to explain something like, like, like Link, for example. I think that by 2030, Link is worth $1,000. What it does between now and then, I don't know. It just depends on the rate in which these huge partnerships come into play, right? And if, if, if those don't work out by some reason, then I change my, I change my stance, right? But like, right now, all, sci all signs point to that direction. With with Pepe Coin and Base AI, I did three weeks of, of of gnarly deep due diligence, like to where like you guys, I, I I've 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 literally just I, I fell asleep multiple nights reading the white paper, not because not because I it was boring, it was 
in, insanely interesting, but because it, it had worked for like 18 hours a day and I still wanted to dive into it. Um, and so I, I started this YouTube channel with the intention of letting you guys know what it is that I'm doing. I've been in this space for 12 years. I, I've, I managed to churn, you know, I think I, I started, I sold my last, my, my, my company in 2013. Um, not for a lot, but, but the, the guy who bought it wanted to buy my brand. I made a nice video. It was called the reverse aging Institute and uh, I wanted to get in Bitcoin. And so I sold it for a hundred thousand dollars and that was the most money I'd ever had in my life at that time. And all through crypto and being in the space full time, I've been able to turn that into a, a large sum of money, extremely like, like generational, gen, multi-generational wealth. And, uh, and that's literally been through investing in crypto. Keep in mind, I've lost um, a lot of those tokens. Either been hacked. I've made I made bad investments. I I've 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 done a lot. Right? In twelve years in the space, you get you you get ripped apart thirty different ways, chewed up, spit back on you know. And 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 so some of my goal is to try to share these lessons with you guys so that you don't have to go through all the same mistakes that I did. You know, back in two thousand twelve and thirteen and fourteen, if we didn't have any of the the convenient things like like my first bitcoin wallet was literally like a client that you would run on your on windows that was just like a looked like a command line almost and like that was it you know and like there was no 2fa and stuff like that um so anyway long story short is that yeah i mean to your comment like i do talk about my bags not because i'm shilling them i never want you guys to go buy anything based on what i say but I'm telling you what I'm doing. That's the purpose of my my channel. I tell you what I do, the moves I make. And if you're in the VVIP group, which now I I love I, I made the new record, the, like you can either follow the instructions that are on most of my descriptions, not my live video because this is just a, a but any of my other pre-records. You can and that that's like joining an exchange, uh, deposit some money, whatever. The but but also now I, th I thought a new great way to 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 build that community healthy is to to ask people to, to send us an email to media, media at mvglobal.io. And if you can add some value to the community because there's so much alpha in there, then, uh, then, then th if you can add value from anything, like whether, whether it's like, whether you can write articles, you can create memes and gifts and sticker packs or like, you know, you've got a good network of VCs or like you, you're, you know, whatever, whatever it is, like you, you want to be a community moderator. Like we need moderators. If you, you know, whatever it is, guys, just, just send us an email. And, uh, and as long as there's like some value add, then then come into the group. Like, um, okay. So this, some, I see some guy like really frustrated because I'm not answering his comment. Like, what is it? What, dude, I got to pay this guy to, I don't, I don't have a super chat, bro. <laughs> like, and I'm still trying to get through the news here and I'm going on, on, on tangents here. So just give me a second and then I'll, I'll pay, I'll pay a lot of attention to the comments here. Um, guys, big announcement. If you don't know, um, I am, there's a, there's a new TV show com coming out called, uh, crypto nights. So crypto nights is the, it's the web three version of shark tank. And I've always wanted to do a shark tank. And, and so I was just, uh, I was just selected as, uh, let me share a screen again. Um, ba, 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 ba. Let's do this. How do you do this? No, like this. Yeah. So I was selected as one of the, the permanent judges for, uh, for, for, uh, crypto nights, which is gonna be dope. Like it's going to be, it's going to be, uh, so, so the producers and the, the crew behind this have, have produced many shows that have been seen by hundreds of millions of people. This will be on either Netflix or Amazon Prime. I don't even know. Hopefully, I'm allowed to say all that stuff. But I just did an AMA uh, with them here. You guys can go uh, watch it here. But um, I'm very excited for this. So we're we're uh, so it, it's different than the, the 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 killer whales. I like this Crypto Knights idea way better because for 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 killer whales, um, and I, and I love uh, Aaron and Austin. Don't get me wrong. I, I love. I, I literally like they're like. The coolest like there's so nice um but i like crypto nights better why because on, on on killer whales they're not even allowed to mention a token like what the what, what are you talking about and they're also not making investments and so they're just like they just say like yeah sink or swim like what 
<laughs> like if you're a judge, like, do you want to put money into this thing or not? Like, like the audience wants to know, bro, like, are you going to, your mouth is an invest in these things, right? And so with crypto nights, not only us as judges have to sign a contract and commit, if we say yes to a project, we have to invest in that project. And I, and I actually will want to do that. Um, so you will see that not only that, and I, I hope that I'm not spilling the beans before I'm allowed to, but I'll, I'll keep it high level and generalized. I, I believe there's going to be a way where you guys, the audience are also allowed to participate in these kind of these deals and stuff like that. So, um, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. And, and I have a feeling it's a right time. Crypto is going to be popping in the few months after the halving Bitcoin will be $150,000. Every retail person and their mother is going to be sitting watching this thing at, at home and learning about crypto, you know, and I'm going to be one of the judges on there. And, uh, and you guys are going to get to see me be, <laughs> be the, the, you're going to, you're going to, you, you haven't seen VC Kyle yet, right? VC Kyle is a much different than YouTube Kyle. Um, I, I become ruth, ruthless, not, not in a mean way, but in a way that don't waste my time. Like, let's get down to the point and, uh, and let's find out if the, it, what, 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 let's find out who you are, founder. Let me let's get to the bottom of this. Is it, are you are you doing a cash grab, or are you uh, are, are, do you really have something that you're passionate about, right? Like, um, and so I, I have I have it, it'll be very entertaining, guys. Like uh, I I promise you'll enjoy it. Um, this is uh, one of my friend's projects. Uh, my pet hooligan. I, I just he asked me to share the news. Um, what's cool about it is that they have like a a, a separate kind of DAO foundation for the token. Um, anyway, guys, I'm bullish. My pet hooligan. Masa just launched today too. I'm also invested in in, in Masa, and uh, and and what what I'm excited about, guys, too, is that like since I started going hardcore on on X and uh, and YouTube, like the amount of of deal flow that I'm getting is is unbelievable, and 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 it's perfect. Why? Because the paid network and the Commonwealth communities will be the biggest KOLs in the world. Everybody wants guerrilla marketing armies. And so you guys, if you're part of paid network or if you're part of Commonwealth, these insane deals are going to be coming to you. And for the first freaking time in history, you guys will have access to actually invest in these projects. Like, how cool is that? Like, like I remember in, in the early days, like when I was a nobody and like, I, I didn't get to invest into, you know, but then, but then, but then I, I, I did, then there was something called bank to the future and lo I was, I was an accredited investor, so I, I could, but most people aren't right. And I, I had so many, but so the point is that like, my objective is to open this all up to the 99% and, uh, and give the 99% a chance to actually make a financial difference in their life. Um, so, so I'm, I'm, I'm very, very excited about this. Um, okay. Buy the dip, buy the dip, buy the Guys, I'm, I'm not, not financial advice. I'm not saying buy the dip. <laughs> um, but, dude, can you imagine this? Like, based AI, what the, one of the, the, I see it in the comments all the time here. Um, and, and, and did, someone, did someone find that link, by the way, guys, uh, where you said the founder of, uh, uh, the, the, the CEO from, uh, from, from uh, whatever, whatever it's called, um, tweeted about it? Uh, because I really wanted to, because I really wanted to put those guys together. But look at this chart. This is the let's, let's go back to like the let's look at the four hour chart or whatever. And now let's go let's go to like a let's go to the daily. So <laughs> so it's pretty clear. Like so, I, I'm pretty sure that I started talking about this thing like right here because I, I, I think I made the first like the first big video about based AI and Pepe Coin. And then, uh, you know, then it, it, I just brought it the attention it deserves. I'm not saying that like this pump because of me, I just helped spread the awareness of the project as well deserved to, to get this kind of gains, but <clears throat> simple back, simple back of the, pa uh, back of napkin, uh, math would just tell you, like, if you look at Tau, which, which is kind of the closest kind of compared comparative thing of BitTensor or, or, or of, of base AI, which base AI is, is much better. Um, this thing's market cap, no, not markets, market cap peaked out at 15,
It was at, what is it, 50, wait a minute. Uh, so showing you market cap. Fully diluted valuation, all-time highs was about $15 billion, right? So, uh, uh, how, do, how do you buy Tau? Uh, like, guys, I mean, not financial. I, let, let, me, let, me, let me put it this way. I, I, I haven't bought Tau. I'm not going to buy Tau. And, and I'll explain to you why. Because based AI is going to rip it a new a-hole. Um, and, uh, and let me show you this. So if, if the base AI should be at least at parity, at least BitTensor was the, the, the first market leader, right? And that, that deserves something. Um, the, it, so, so like I said, base AI should in rationally uh, achieve parity, right? And BitTensor should at least do a 5x in this bull run. That's, I, I feel like that's very fair from the, from the, 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 the local all-time high, which was a $15 billion FTV. So 15, uh, so, so you have 15 billion. I mean, let's be even more conservative. Uh, what, what it was a couple of days, it was 12, it was $12 billion. So 12 times 5x is a $60 billion valuation, right? So if base AI just gets a parity, but I, I think it's going to go, I think it's going to get bigger because I think eventually when people understand they're going to, again, jump ship from BitTensor and they're going to go to base AI. Well, it'll, it'll, it'll take liquidity. So now let's go back and look at based AI and, and look what would it take to get to a $60 billion market cap? Well, it's at 315, <laughs> 315 million right now, right? So we go 60 billion, 60 billion divided by 315 million. It's 190x. 190x, right? And if you're watching this for the first time or you haven't done deep dives into this project, then that, that probably sounds crazy, right? But like 190x is something you can you can you can hope to achieve in the shitcoin casino. But in the shitcoin casino, you don't have high conviction on any of that stuff. So you're just putting you're just putting like five, 10 bucks in every shitcoin, hoping that one of them pops off to give you 100x. But imagine if you can, if you didn't didn't have to spread out spread yourself so thin, and you could put in one high conviction play. We just calculated 190x, and to me that that was a conservative play. But even if you did 100x, and you, even if you, had, you put all your capital in something right now that was a, and you did 100x, would you <laughs> would that be life changing? Hell yeah. Um, so. So I, so I have done the, I, I've been on the a call with the devs three times. I've introduced them to many, many tier one funds that they're in due diligence with right now. They, 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 the alpha test net is working. You can go try it yourself. You can go to YouTube. You can watch videos of people running the test net. You can go read the white paper, which is published at Cornell. You can look at the track record. You can just, if you just want to learn and if you want to find out, just go look, it's all there. Just go do your own research. And like, why waste your time? And spreading yourself super thin in the shitcoin casino, it's fun, sure. But like, do you really want to make life-changing gains? Like, and if you do, then to me, building conviction in, 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 a, in a play, and then maybe you start small, and then more research, and then you do, you know, maybe you only have a few hours every day to do research, and then you, and then as you get more confident, you put more money into it and more money into it. Yeah, base AI right now is only on ETH mainnet right now. But when 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 mainnet, because base AI is a layer one. When it goes live, it'll you'll, the the token swap will happen from uh, ETH to base uh, base AI base chain basically. Um, so th so for me that is the that is that that is the most obvious play in the world right now. And then you have here Pepe Coin. Holy crap, guys! This was at a billion dollar valuation the other day. It taught, like hit a hit a billion, and uh, and and now you've got this this twenty five percent off sale. And it was it and it was just it was just clearly on the way up to 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 flip Pepe the the fake Pepe which which is called the Pepening when when these guys who were actually are the original Pepe guys who created Pepe Coin in 2016 and the, the new Pepe just ripped it off from them. These guys will be this will be the best one of the best stories ever told in crypto where the the guys who actually 
where the creatives actually have the idea and they will have their redemption. They will be the Phoenixes rising from the ashes. And eventually people will jump ship from the, the copycat IP stealing, no creative uh, people who, who copied Pepe coin. And they're going to jump to this one. Like I've already done, right? I sold all my normal Pepe for Pepe coin. And you got this beautiful chart that was running up. Of course, people take profits here and there, but then you have, of course, the market sell off today. So what does this look like? This thing was headed, this thing was, was easily every day cranking toward, uh, you know, that it was hitting that billion. And then we had the sell off today. And so what are you going to do? You're going to be, you're going to think about, oh, maybe it's done for, or are you going to take an, an opportunity here to buy a dip? Um, and then we get into my man, <laughs> the myth, the legend. It is Tuker Carlson. And guys, I told you, you guys, if you guys watch my channel, you, you saw me literally evaluate this thing live. Like you saw my, you, oh, I, I should share my screen. You saw me doing this live, guys. Uh, like I looked at it. I, I saw the video. Like, this is hilarious. Yeah, I'm going to go, I'm going to go buy this thing. And you can see, here's my buys. And then and in my VIP group, the ticker is Tuker Mofo. <laughs> like, that's it, guys. That is it, it is that is as that is as vi viral as uh, as anything with a hat, right? So, no, no, we're more than ten x. Uh, if you guys are in the VVIP group, like you got in here with me. Like I I shared it the second I bought this, right? And this thing was at you know the first buy here. You can see was at was at point. Zero zero two five. So we're, what is that? It's, it's like forty x now, something like that. Um, and this thing is going higher, 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 higher. Uh, yeah, and there's huge news too. You guys, you guys know that. Um, uh, you may, may or may not know, but uh, I was the first person to 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 kind of uh, bring attention to to Tuker uh, because it's because it, it deserves it. It's hilarious as hell. Um, and then Ran, who's also a homie of mine for crypto banter, he loved it so much because Ran is always an opportunist. Um, and you can see that uh, is where is that? Where is I don't I don't want to play the whole thing here. Like, and you, and you guys can hear this sound any anyway too. But um, anyway, I wish I, there was a I don't know what article is, but there was an announcement today. Maybe it's on Banter's channel. Let's see. It's got to be on, on Banjo. Let's see. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So anyway, the, the, the long story short is that, uh, is that now uh, Tucker Carlson is going to have his own, his own channel uh, and have the full support of the, um, of the, the Banter team. And that means they're going to help him with thumbnails, descriptions, broadcasting, uh, promotion, uh, all that kind of stuff. And I, I don't know what the commercial deals that they worked out with each other, but but Tuker, Homie, and Ran, if you guys are listening to this, which I, I, I mean, I sent you guys both both messages anyway. In the thing, it talks about they're going to monetize the channel, which is fine. You want to generate you want to generate revenue, but but Tuker is a is a people's coin, right? We we this is a meme coin. So if you want the most bullish case scenario ever on, on Tuker and this relationship with Rand, the revenue should go back into, the, into buying or, or sharing with the Tuker community, right? The Tuker Colossus community. Let me just tell you that big YouTubers make a shit ton of money. If that thing was going into the, the Tuker coin, uh, It would be insane. It's like a no-brainer. This thing's going to going to the multiple billions of dollars, uh, like instantly. It'll get there probably without that, right? But but the the most bullish case scenario ever is literally the revenue share going to uh, the the Tuker holders. Like you, you do that, and this thing is this thing becomes one of the top. It'll be up there with 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 OG Pepe. It'll be up there with Shiba and Doge um, because. It's just like South Park style funny, right? And and I, I want even my first suggestion to, even my first suggestion to uh, to the, the 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 guy who because I, I uh, I've been chatting with him. I said, man, you, I love your stuff, 
you need to do satire of real world events, not just crypto. Um, you need to do satire about everything, right? Like, and uh, and he's going, he's going to. Um, so I'm extremely bullish on this. Uh, and, and 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 like, and and, and yeah. So so if you have like, so this, like this comment about about uh, banter kind of sketches you out. Like, I I, I hear you, and I think that like. You know, I I know Rand personally, and I, I like him as a friend. Um, but I do understand that like there is. I, I do understand that like some people this was like Rand is a salesman. He's very clear that he wants to make banter into a billion dollar, um, and so he saw an opportunity to 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 bring great talent into his umbrella. <clears throat> um, I I don't think that we have to like this guy this this guy who created Tucker Carlson was is his own independent free agent right and i'm sure the commercial deal that they made together was something that was just it was just uh a way that ran could get some upside but he would also make the life life easier for tucker carlson guy by helping him with thumbnails helping him with research helping him with like putting together the, so so it's a good team guys regardless whether, whether how you feel about ran and banter or not like i like i love the banter guys but i understand that some people have have issues, whatever. Um, regardless, for me, this is a no-brainer. And as you can see, guys, I even I even dub like I even increased my back size tremendously here uh just today, right? Like uh just a couple just a, like if you these are all my buys. I I, I try to be as as transparent with you guys as possible here. Like this is you know my wallet's connected over here. You guys can see I I this is when I this is when I knew that the the crypto banter deal was going to happen, and uh, and I just wanted to be have a lot of exposure because I think that this is definitely for sure uh, the next hundred x, and um, obviously with with the earlier buys, but even from here, at a it's a seventy four million dollar market cap, guys. I mean, at least a fifty a fifty x should be like a no brainer right right now, right? But like. No, it's not too late. That's the point I'm making. It's, it's in my opinion, not financial advice. You make your own decisions. It's not too late to get into 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 Tuker, right? Like, uh, just go watch, go watch, go to his, go to the go to go go watch, go to the go to his his channel, go to his website, go to the the, the X account, and watch the content. If it laughs and you, and you think it's funny and you think other people are gonna find it funny, then then it's probably gonna do extremely well. It's like what what if South Park had a token? Like, same thing. Okay, and then let's see what else. Dog with hat, guys. This thing was sitting at a four. What is it, like a four point five? This is this is like basically a fifty percent off sale for the the most obvious blue chip of the entire bull run, right? Like this thing is not going away. Uh, every time that there's strength in the market, whiff explodes, and so you can see right now that we're at a forty four percent discount from all time high. And all time high, I was still expecting another twenty five x from there. So, and and and, and uh, the guys, this Hunter Bowden is the next Tuker. Well, the question is, is does Hunter Bowden have funny? Does 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 he have funny uh, videos that make you laugh? Uh, I, I I don't think so, right? It's just it's just like a it's just a meme, right? I like I don't think guys I, I don't think that PFP because I compare I compare the uh, this meme coin run to the 2021 NFT shit sale. Just the meme alone, just the the uh, I'm in for the art. No, it's whatever. And, uh, like that lasts for a little while. Eventually, people get tired of that, and they they're gonna have to give utility to the memes. And that's why I like Pepe Pepe Coin and Base AI. That's why I like Tooker, right? And when I create mine, whatever I create one day, you can better get you better believe that it's gonna have uh, uh, utility involved in it. So, um, yes. <laughs> I, I I am aware of the um, amount of of gems that I'm giving you guys, and and uh, I ask all I ask in return is like literally um, that you guys help spread the word. Like I, my goal is to make this channel big, um, and that's so we can get better deal flow. We can uh, and I and I want I want to make paid network. And I want to make Commonwealth two of the best projects in the space that like that literally have that like Wall Street bets type of community that like just everybody's aligned, right? Because I built we've built it in a way that that aligns values and incentives with everybody involved. And, and this is what crypto should be like. And so building in that spirit, 
it's a beautiful thing. Hardly anyone does it. You haven't really seen good use cases of it yet. And I, I have a feeling that this bull run will be a perfect demonstration of that. So that's that's why I'm doing this channel because I want to bring awareness to what we're building. So yeah, if you guys, if you guys haven't smashed the like yet, the likes yet, please do that. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, I, I, I suggest that you do that. Um, please share this with all your friends and family. Uh, it would mean the world to me. And let's see if there's anything else um, that, uh, yeah, <laughs> based AI. Yeah, someone if, if guys, someone could just share with me, I don't know, I'll, I'll have to look it up. I, I don't see the link for the, the guy who said that um, the ex-stability CEO is talking about based AI. But, um, but anyway, if, if, uh, if someone can share that again before, before we end this, that would be great. Um, I think that's it, guys. Uh, we I'm gonna do more discussions about. Okay, yeah, like, like, okay, let's just do some question Q and A real quick. Um, yeah, it's only it's only five o'clock in the morning. Fuck it. <laughs> um, okay, let's do some questions real quick. Uh, what are my th what are my thoughts on Gummy? Um, you know, it's it's ran. They have a huge community. They're they're trying to do things right. You know, like I understand that. Like, um, and Rand understands, and the whole team over there understands that. Like. There was some things that the community was not happy about. Uh, like one, they encouraged everyone to get into Luna, and like Rand was the biggest loser from that, and like that was reputational damage. There was some 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 people suggesting that they were dumping on on their followers, like that that caused like and so you have to remember that Rand has a team of like sixty people, and he's very generous, and he shares a lot of times opportunities with those guys, and you can't control. But anyway, I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna defend him. But the thing is, is that I, I think that I, I certainly think that this this bull run moving forward, he's not going to do anything that will compromise his his integrity and his, his his reputation. So, you know, if I was if if I was you guys, I would ask to try to be have an open mind with him and and the Gummy Project. They 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 very clearly want it to be a hundred percent community uh, owned, like uh, airdropped and zero team allocation, zero KOL allocation. Like. We'll see what we'll see what they plan on doing with it, you know, um, or if they plan on maintaining it somehow. I, I don't know. It's it's an experiment, and they said, said an ex, it's, it's experiment. So, um, you know, I guess if you like weed, <laughs> uh, it could be a good thing. It's gonna pump for sure. Um, how sustainable it is, I, I don't know, and I, I don't know if they know. Okay, so, um, I mean, when you do a live stream only, looking at the chat and then go live search the tokens bro sorry man i i need more uh any more context there maybe um silver seven thank you man um i love your show love your authenticity enthusiasm yeah um like i i try to say this with the most uh like just just fully as 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 honest as they can like you you will you you will not find like or maybe you will, but like it's it's really, really, really hard to find anybody in this space that that has as much passion for like the actual. I know a lot of people. They, they, there's a meme, right? Oh, we're here for the technology, but like I literally am here for the technology. I, I haven't had to work since 2015. I became like I I, I could have just done nothing for the rest of my life, but I'm obsessed with this industry. I believe strongly that we're gonna have that crypto blockchain will have its chat GPT moment. Remember, AI has been around for 30 years or whatever. It took that long for the world to realize how powerful it was. But, and it was, just, it, it was just about creating a simple user interface that allowed anybody to use it. We're, we're at the precipice of that with the, the, the Coinbase small, smart wallets and the, the Ethereum improvement proposal that we just talked about. That's going to allow... That's going to allow uh, user adoption to happen. So, um, so yeah, I'm I'm really really excited about that. Uh, let's see what else. What, what I see this question a lot. What I think about this merger, guys. I, I don't know because I haven't done I haven't done due diligence in it. Um, like, as long as they're all aligned and as long as like, I, I don't know, guys. I, I I really don't know. Like, I, I can only pay attention to so many things. Um, and I I try to keep I try to I try to keep my attention on the things that I'm. Well, one, I build a lot. So most of my attention is on paid and, and Commonwealth and some other things that we're working on. And a lot of my other attention is here on this channel and trying to build the social media stuff and, and deliver you guys alpha. Um, so I, I don't get to uh, I don't get to pay a lot of attention. Uh, this is a good question. How do I feel about uh, Foxy and Brett? 
I feel like the first meme coin on any popular blockchain is a good play. Brett seems to be the the, the golden child. I mean, we saw uh, essentially um, Bonk, which everyone thought would, would would always and forever be the Solana blue chip, got flipped by Whiff, right? But like initially, if you're playing the meme coin game, but you don't want to be so degenerate, just pick the number one, the one that's doing the best, and 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 uh, if that chain takes off, it's gonna take off with it. It's like a it's like a leverage play on the underlying blockchain. So like for example, um, if you think Mantle, I, I talked about Mantle the other day, then then you want to go and puff, uh, puff the dragon. And um, and if you're, I have another one I found out about last night. I will tell you guys about when I know that I'm allowed to talk about it. Um, but yeah, I I, I like um, I like these. Uh, and then and then yeah, I was also they also did this kind of like. Uh, private round for Foxy. I, I invested some small amount into it. Um, I, I heard it did really well in the launch today. I have looked at it, but but it is the it is again. It's the number one meme coin now on Linnea, and that's uh, that's a chain that I think a lot of people are very bullish on. So so yeah, I think it's going to be a good deal, right? I think that I think the number one meme coin on on the most popular chains, all of them will hit a billion dollars, right? Like um so just kind of do like they think that of that as maybe kind of the target. Um, my thoughts on uh, Athena and ENA, I have no idea. I have no idea. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I know people are talking about it. I don't know about it. Uh, Evelyn, uh, you have to run. I have to run too soon. Um, but uh, much love back to you. Um, Kyle, you announced uh, guns made, uh, get guns and nodes on paid network uh, in a live stream. Um, yeah, so, so all I can say for that is yes, I talked about a node sale on paid network. I got, I wasn't supposed to announce it yet. Um, and that caused a lot of stress for the Godzilla team because the thing is, is what, if, when you launch a token, if you're launching on Binance or something or Coinbase, they want exclusivity on that token sale for the public sale. And so you can imagine, and I, I'm, I'm going to play everything hypothetical from now on because I don't know what I'm allowed to say, what I'm allowed to say. But let's just say that you're a tier one project and you're negotiating with Coinbase and buy and Binance and whatever, and they make it very explicit that like if you if you if we list you and you have to use our launchpad and you can't do any other launchpad, and then let's say that you know then 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 then, then some ding dong like uh, announces um, even a, even though it's not a token sale announces a node sale um, on this on this on this platform. The the narrative that was being communicated throughout crypto Twitter and stuff wasn't specific that it was a node sale. And that caused a lot of headache for Godzilla, and so um, I, I apologize profusely. I, I, I didn't. I, there was a lot of discussions where I thought at one point he said it was fine that I could talk about it. I wasn't allowed to do that, right? So I fucked up, but it didn't ruin the relationship or anything. Um, I'll just tell you that Godzilla and 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 Off the Grid, the team has been very busy. I was even getting a little bit concerned because you didn't see a post on their Twitter for a while. And then you see this killer announcement recently come out, and I had a chat with Vlad the other day, and 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 life is good. Um, they're just extremely busy and a bit behind in things. So, um, so for the sake of respect, I'm not going to con confirm or deny anything right now. But I'll just tell you that, like, uh, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell you guys something if, if uh, like, let, let's just say I'm not going to lie to you guys about something, right? Like, um, and I'll leave it at that. <sighs> Dude, Kyle, you're the crypto goat. Thank you. Uh, really appreciate that, guys. Um, I, 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 thank you. I don't know what to say, but um, I, I, I just I literally am so, so passionate about the space. Like, I really want people to understand what it's about, uh, how to do due diligence, how to be safe, how to support good founders, how to make good investments. You know, like, this stuff is all important. Um, I'm gonna do a couple more. Uh, what about AOs? Um, AOs is the shit, <laughs> and Ondo is the shit. Like, I I, I highly recommend both of them. Uh, I still have my bags of both of them. Um, I've been a big believer in Ermin and AOs for a long time. Ondo, a more recent, uh, the, the the leading RWA protocol, um, uh, bullish, super bullish. Um, I think Wormhole is a very useful, super interesting technology, highly overvalued. Uh, I'm not. I, I'm not buying it, but I think it's great. We'll, 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 we'll probably end up using it uh, for for token minting. It's really cool. Um, you can actually just mint your token on Wormhole, and then it can be on. It can be multi chain right away. Um, it's it's nice. So 
Um, anyway, guys, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna wrap it up. Um, yeah, why is Zeta underperforming? I think I think Zeta is underperforming because like, <laughs> I think it's because, uh, well, I think it's because, um, let me show you why. Uh, if you haven't noticed, there's this, uh, there's this new trend going on where any person around the world can, can draw up some cartoon character and then launch a token. And then all of a sudden that token has, has tens of millions of dollars or even in some cases, billions of dollars of value. And, uh, and, and people need to sell their legitimate, awesome, highly technical and, and, and uh, tokens for, to go into the, the gambling casino. And so it's sucking liquidity out of things. Um, if you look at the, so this is one of my favorite tools that I use all the time. Um, it is uh, called Kaito. It's right now. It's not really. It's it's kind of institutional level. There, I'm I'm hoping that they're going to make a retail version soon. And if they are, I'm definitely going to share that with you guys. But this is a tab called Narrative Mindshare, and you can see that a Narrative Mindshare like meme is no joke, right? Meme is way before um, like. I would say Zeta chain is something in the in the realms of like interoperability or something, right? Or modularity. It's not even on this chart compared to memes right now. <clears throat> so, so that's why. Like, is it a great project? Yeah, it's a great cap table, good technology. Um, it's dope. But, uh, but, but that's what's happening right now. I mean, I still have a lot of bags of things. Like, like I still have my link bags right now, right? Because it, like some things, some for me. You want to you want to take your profit into the things that you have long term conviction in. Do I have the most conviction in Zeta? Not as much as I do Bitcoin, ETH, and Link, for example, maybe Solana. But um, but I, I, I but I but it is still in my in my opinion like a bordering onto a blue chip. When they have more traction, I'll call it a blue chip. Um, and sometimes, guys, if the narrative is switching, you know, it might make sense to sell something like Zeta for a period of time. And keep it, keep a note that you sold it. And then maybe if you think that something else is going to pop because you think that like for the next three months, it's just going to be a, a meme narrative. Instead of having that, that money sit in Zeta, which is, is, isn't going to have the, the mind share, put it in the narrative as a mind share, make the money and then take those profits back and then put them in the, the asset that you're more bullish on long-term. Right. And that's uh, that, that, that should be a general strategy. Um, okay. There's a, a lot of questions here. Holy crap, a lot. I love you guys. Um I uh, I got a lot more coming to you guys, a lot more, a lot more exciting things. Um, but I I I try to be I try to be quite selective. Um I do see some suggestions in here. Uh yeah, I do see some suggestions. Um I just I just hope that you guys are all subscribed to me on YouTube. And uh again, if you want to join the VVIP group, just write us an email. Uh, media at mvglobal.io. And um, I, I see a lot of people asking about DGEN and Pepe. It's an interesting thing. Like I still have my DGEN um, or Depe. Um, I did sell 50% of my Depe um, because I, I not. I, I think it's still, it still feels like the blue chip of, of DGEN chain. And if you look at like, so watch, if, if we go over to here to, um, let me just show you here because this is kind of interesting. So if you go to, uh, if you go to, this smart following, you will see the um. God, I, I guys, I wish I wish there was a way that I could maybe I wish there was a way I can get all the, your comments and actually look into some of these projects that you're sharing with me. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of really interesting things there, but if you look here, guys, this is like uh. So what this is, it's, it's called smart following, and it's like it's like uh, what the AI and and the uh the the people who created the software called Kaito uh, deem to be uh. Giga brains or or very influential Twitter accounts and um, and so then you can see what projects a lot of these smart people are following um, and so I think so so what still makes me quite uh, quite uh, bullish on it is and remember this doesn't always work well if you guys know uh, this is kind of where I found this closed AI thing and it, it, that didn't work out so well either right so um, so I, I check this out very often. Um, let's see. So they, like over here, you've got, you've got, we know that, uh, DGen swap recently, um, so on DGen chain got, uh, a lot of new smart followers. Um, and, uh, 
I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to scroll, scroll through it, but I do know that like, let me see if I can just do a quick, yeah, like even the D, the D gen uh, bridge. Let's just do this. Control F. Let's see if I can find it. D gen. Twenty of them on here. Let's see. That's D gen. Uh, D gen camp. D gen bridge. D gen cast. I don't know. Anyway, but the, the, like it, it's been on here forever. <sighs> I don't know, guys. Anyway, I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, have a wonderful weekend. I will catch you guys later. Bye-bye, everybody. Um, see ya.